Hey, Shad here with SpeedX, and today we're gonna uncrate the Bell MX-9. Bell helmets, tried and true, been around for decades. You've heard the name. They make a full range of moto helmets. This is their entry level, it's the MX-9. It goes from here all the way up to the new Moto-10, which is like a $900 helmet. Uh, the MX-9 is one of our best helmets under $200. Price range is 165 to 194, depending on what flavor you go with. This one in front of me is the McGrath Showtime Replica. Brings me back to my first Anaheim days. Seeing McGrath uh, beat up on Kudrowski, who I was always rooting for and, of course, disappointed. But, you know, the Knack Knack King, respect, one of the goats. And uh, these things have been selling fast. Not sure how much longer they're going to make this particular colorway, but lots of choices. You're going to get a lot for your money here. So polycarbonate shell with the MIPS liner. That's the key. Not a lot of helmets in this price range have that added safety feature of the MIPS liner, which absorbs angular uh, momentum and, and rotational forces. It turns out that uh, most traditional helmets were meant to stop linear forces, but a lot of the rotational forces are what are causing um, concussions a lot of times. So helmet companies are coming up with all different ways to absorb that, uh, that rotational uh, force when you impact, and the MIPS liner allows your head to slip inside of the helmet. So that's MIPS, we'll show you that in a little bit. 3.3 pounds, so relatively lightweight, DOT and ECE rated. Bell helmets, are, uh, this uh, MX-9 runs true. Again, intermediate oval fit, go by the sizing chart, you won't be disappointed. Helmet comes in three shell sizes, one shell for extra small and small heads, uh, one shell for medium and large, and a third shell for the big heads, extra large and 2X. More shell size is a good thing because you don't want to be wearing, the, the guy in 2X doesn't want to be wearing the same shell as the guy in extra small. Fits closer, smaller to your head, less weight, less drag, all that sort of stuff. Let's jump in and see what you're getting for your uh, approximately $150 price point with the MX-9. First up, um, sun visor fully adjustable with what they call their flying bridge. If I step out of the way, you'll notice there is no screw right here. That's nice because they didn't have to remove EPS foam in here to make room for the threads or the connection in the center part like most helmets do. Increased safety feature and um, less drag because air can flow right through the top and you just twist these to adjust. These are plastic screws that are meant to shear in case of an accident so this thing doesn't pull on your head more than it has to. Ventilation, um, right here you got some brow vents, pretty standard stuff. And then the back exhaust, Okay, helmet flow is pretty good. Remember, your number one entryway for air in an off-road helmet is around the goggle. Decent size eye port. I give that the three finger. And uh, so you will get some airflow around the goggles and of course, your mouth vent here. They call it the velocity flow system. We'll pull the headliner out of the way so that you can see what's going on inside of the helmet and how the ventilation system's working to pull the hot air out and uh, get the cool air into the helmet. Here's what it looks like from underneath. Typical double D-ray enclosure with the snap so it doesn't blow around in the breeze. Removable washable liner. One thing we're gonna show you too in the chin bar area is they have EPS up here in the chin bar in case you go face first into uh, the little handlebars there, a little extra padding. Okay, let's pull the cheek pads. These snap out real easy. Removable washable, nothing fancy here. Moisture wicking mesh. Let's get this one out of the way. Uh, we'll note they're not the emergency quick release. If you pay a little bit more and step up in the line, you get the emergency pull release in case you're in an accident. It's more of a racing situation. This helmet's best suited for kind of recreational, uh, everyday trail riding or uh, just kind of having fun. Okay, so we do have a speaker pocket. That's nice. Not in, uh, You don't see that in a lot of dirt helmets, especially in this price range. So you can run a comm system or speakers inside of this guy. The headliner is antimicrobial, which means it, uh, it's meant to not grow funk and stink between rides. And again, because it's removable washable, easy to get out of the way and uh, into the washer. Okay, see this yellow plate in here? That's the magic of MIPS. This is a liner, this plastic slippery liner is um, installed between your headliner and the styrofoam EPS, which is what crunches and absorbs energy and impact. So that way when you hit at a funny angle, your head slips inside of this helmet instead of just coming to a, a firm stop. 
that transfers more energy into your head if you, if you don't have this slippage in here with the MIPS liner. Polycarbonate, under $200, MIPS liner, removable washable liner, and they top it off with a five-year warranty. Guys at Bell have been making helmets a long time. They know what they're doing. If you want something that's just for having fun, um, great everyday helmet. Something, you know, spending a ton of money on a dirt helmet always kind of uh, is it can be questionable, especially depending on how often you crash or how much you beat stuff up. So getting out the door well under $200 for the MX-9 makes it an awesome choice. Head over to speedaxe.com. Remember, free exchanges and returns uh, so you can order risk-free. Wrong size, don't like it, send it back. We'll get you a prepaid label for that. Head over to Speed Addicts. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see what's in the crate.